C'est la Mat Pagi Dansiang. Good morning, Le Havre, France. Good afternoon, colleagues from Jakarta, Indonesia, and other cities worldwide. We are delighted to organize this webinar series and are honored to moderate the first web conference with my esteemed colleague, Dr. Nia Serianastiti. Before we give the floor to the speakers, allow us to express our gratitude to our French and Indonesian fellows. They invested their time and energy in this work, making it possible. We are also grateful for the efforts of professors Eko Widodo, Dean of the Faculty of Business Administration and Communication Studies at Atma Jaya, Dr. Dorian Kartikawangi, Head of the School of Communication at Atma Jaya, Dr. Nia Sarinastiti, Dr. Rosidiana Sijabat, Associate Dean of Faculty of Business Administration and Communication Studies at Atmajaya. Last but not least, we extend our thanks to my estimated friend, Professor and Dr. Joël Colloc, who is Professor in Computer Sciences in Le Havre Normandie University in France. I first met Dr. Dorian Kartikawangi at her office at the School of Communication in Jakarta in 2016. Back in the days, we spoke of digital culture, digital trace, and the works of the French School on Trace, represented in this webinar series by Professors Colloc, aforementioned, and Beatrice galino melinek Emeritus Professor in Information and Communication Sciences at Le Havre Normandie University and founder of the Laboratory on Human Trace Unit Twin Complex System Digital Campus. Back in the days, communication ethics and public health were ordinary subjects. There was no COVID-19 and we didn't feel the need to brave the health domain. In 2020, we worked with Dorian and Nia to interrogate how COVID-19 disturbed our ways of living. Furthermore, at the beginning of this year, we mapped health technology services in Indonesia and examined how they change communication and affect individual and organizational roles and interests. It was this reflection that led us to this project on digital communication and ethics in public health. We wanted this cooperation to cover the complexity of e-health and communication. We, therefore, split the webinars into three axes. The first is about communication ethics in public health care with Joel Colloc and Dr. Yuniza Astiarani from School of Medicine and Health Sciences in Atmajaya. The second in June about digital law and public communication with Dr. Benedict Bevière Boyer from the Faculty of Law in Paris 8 University and Dr. Juliana Siswartono of the Department of Law at Atmajaya. The third will be held in September and is about the advantages and risks of artificial intelligence in the communication of public campaigns with Professor Galino Melinek from Le Havre Normandie University and Dr. Lucas of the Department of Engineering at Atma Jaya. We wanted this work to be international, specifically Indonesian and French, and collaborative in its organization, contribution, and participation. Hence, we will host in each webinar two keynote speakers, one from Indonesia and the other from France, to crisscross diversified contexts and approaches. 
Please kneel. Yes. So we hope today this work this work will build a solid partnership between the two institutions, Atma Jaya and Le Havre Normandy University in France, in research as well as teaching. It is a path that we choose that crossed the road of ICOMAC, the International Conference on Corporate and Marketing Communication that will take place in its sixth edition in Atma Jaya in Jakarta in October. So ICOMAC is an interlock of the communication academician, professionals, and business since it covers aspects of various industries. This year's theme, ICOMAC will be focusing on basic communication, managing issues in human communication today which we are now so bound with technology, but basic is something that is broad, something that moves fast, it's ever-changing, and must always be remembered that communication is about human. To create interest, we are creating a series of webinars, as mentioned by Dr. Hadi, and in the first webinar, we are glad to receive Professor Kolok and Dr. Yunisa Asiani. Professor Kolok research tries to conciliate using big data in epidemiological studies, autonomous system and robots, as well as AI ethics to improve clinical decision uh, in medicine while preserving the patient caregiver relationship, privacy, and free will choice of the patients. As for Dr. Yunisa, she will elaborate more about ethical consideration, particularly in public health practice, give her points of view from communication ethics perspective about what matters in technology development, including big data and AI. And we will close the session today from our ethics guru, Professor Alan Goroho from Atma Jaya as well. Please, Adi, continue. Uh, this co uh, cooperative work is a set of elements where humans and technical and communicative factors cohabit and exchange to produce dynamics, content, knowledge, and reality. In this webinar series, we do editorialization by producing and diffusing content in digital environments. Nevertheless, it's not just that. Editorialization, as Marcello Vitali Rosati explains, refers to how tools, emerging, emerging practices, and the structures determined by the tools engender a different relationship to the content itself. Thus, we are willing to, collective, to do collective forms of explaining the reality of social and cultural practices and manners that lead us to understand and organize our world. Welcome to this event, ours and yours, and have a great exchange. Thank you, Trima Kasi. Thank you, Dr. Hadi. Uh, we will now kick off today's webinar, and I would like to request Dr. Doreen Atkawani head of the School of Communication to provide a welcoming speech, and then will be followed by Dr. Eko Widodo as the Dean of the Faculty of Business Administration and Communication Sciences to officiate. Please, Dr. Doreen, the screen is yours. <laughs> 